Project, and then choose number six, which is create new project. And in there, you will get to decide what um, pieces of information you'd like to copy into the project from the existing project. To create a new song, go into song mode, hit the song menu button, and then go and you can either copy as a new song or create a new song. It will give you some options. You can change the beats per minute here. You can change your time and signature. You can uh, decide whether or not you want to copy the existing instruments and effects. To add a MIDI track to your song, you can go into the menu here and select option 3, add MIDI tracks. And what it will do is it will start with whatever you've already uh, created, uh, whatever track it was already on, and it uses the same instrument. It also will give you uh, the opportunity to insert multiple tracks. I'm going to insert two drum tracks and uh, hit execute. And they've been at it. They've been called MIDI tracks. To change the name on the track, you go into track parameters, um, and then you can uh, hit name here. And you can start editing using the uh, keypad keys here, using the delete uh, button. Uh, and another nice feature is to hit the history button there. And inside of history, you can find multiple different names that have already been used uh, within your session. Um, this starts out empty if you haven't done anything with it before. In order to record from a wait note event, basically waiting for a note to be struck, uh, just go into record mode uh, and then change your count in to say, uh, not off, but uh, wait note. And so that will wait for you to strike a key before it starts to record. Changing the tempo real time is real simple. We use the tap button here. Here is going kind of slow. And just try to hit it on the downbeat and then start tapping a little faster or slower. And that changes the tempo up here. Shift locking is done in the system panel. You go to pad panel and in the pad panel there is a panel button here. If you go to the panel you can see that shift lock is off and what happens is the shift button doesn't stay on. Um, I'm going to change it to once and that basically means that once I hit it the shift button will stay on until I hit whatever function needs to be hit. So that's uh, shift locking. Loop management. You can use the shift button, go and hit on, and then what you get here is a, a dialog box that tells you exactly what's going to happen when you do a quick set. So when you hit this quick set button, it will automatically assign a loop length of one measure. And you can see that the top of the loop is one and the uh, bottom of the loop is, is beat, uh, the first beat of measure two. And you can listen to it, you hit play, you can kind of hear it going in the loop. It'll just keep doing the same loop. Okay, and it's not on yet. As soon as you hit it, you can hear it goes. Hear that? And you can use a quick set anytime. Okay, and let it go. See that? And then you can keep going. 
sequence edit. You go into the sequence edit button and uh, sequence edit will allow you to make the changes to a particular track or multiple tracks. In order to do that, if you want to do one track, you use track select and it will select the track that is currently uh, highlighted. And, or you can do an all track select and it will select all of the tracks. And um, you can also do a all track select and it will unselect everything. And uh, so you can kind of toggle those guys back and forth. And see there, I, I did all and then I unselected. Okay, uh, a lot of times I'll just like for safety's sake hit the all um, a couple of times until I, I get um, a blank listing of selected tracks. Uh, then I'll um, select the track that I'm actually interested in, doing the single track select. And here I'm starting with uh, a region, and the region that I'm starting with is right here at measure one. So as soon as I choose um, region in, this is the region where it's going to start. I've chosen a start region that starts at uh, measure one and ends at the first beat of measure five. Um, you can use the command button to do several different functions. You can move things around, copy, paste, erase, and insert, cut, blah, 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 velocity. Go check out this menu. A lot of things that you can do. Saving the MIDI clip, go into sequence edit mode, hit command, and you go down to copy as MIDI clip. And now I've got it, and then you want to go in and name it. Give it a name. Hit OK. And now that MIDI clip has been added to your library, but you need to hit Execute. And it's done. Now, if you ever want to retrieve a MIDI clip, you go into Sequence Edit Mode, hit Menu, and here you'll see your MIDI clip library. And there's a MIDI clip. Then go to the menu over here, and you will see Paste MIDI Clip, which is number 8. Hit that, and you get to choose from the library that you created before. In this case, I'm going to do the Crunk Synth, and oops, just mute it. I need to unmute it first. If you need to move some notes from one place to another, uh, the move command is done by selecting the range of notes that you want, and um, then you can you can play forward to the position where you want to move it to. And I want that to start right at that point. So then I can go into the command menu, and the first item is a move and I'm going to replace it instead of mixing the notes and execute and then it has moved your set of notes and replace the old notes that were there see we're in sequence edit mode and we've already selected the track and um, we want to repeat it multiple measures so again it works pretty much the same way you hit the command again we're in sequence edit mode we can do a copy and paste and inside of copy and paste it tells you where it wants to insert to and it's starting at measure 5 the first uh, beat of measure 5 and um, you can do as many uh, you can do whichever track you're you're going to be doing it on in this case I'm doing it to track 6 uh, and so you can actually move, you can copy and paste to different tracks if you like to. So I could copy it to uh, the bass, for instance, if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so, and then you can also decide how many times you would like to do it. Um, so now I hit that, hit execute or enter. And what you'll see now is that it has copied it multiple times, all four measures all the way up to measure through measure 20. I'm going to try to delete um, 
everything in between a particular region and this is going to be everything between measure one and measure two so now I'm going to click region out and I have selected that piece of track just like if you're in Windows and you're selecting things with a mouse uh, if you hit the command and the end command there's a lot of different things you can do with that particular region that you've selected uh, in this case I am actually just going to erase the notes and boom they are now gone to get out you just hit exit and you're no longer in sequence edit mode Okay.